Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. And we're doing some faceless cleanup here. Who's ready to take some names? Um Alright, right, all right. I think I think I know Whatever's the layout. Yeah, got this road, which is usually where the the enemy group patrols. Which elite officer. The deer and some sort of trooper. Okay. Ten four. Biggest booms. Sting. Well, I suppose. Let's move. I think we're gonna, I'm not even sure why I moved you all the way up there. Uh, we do the good old let them reveal us. I'm reading you. I will take a few shots here. Heading there now. Watching this area. Keep your eyes on the battlefield. Now, I would need to actually also get you revealed, so you can actually take shots. Alternatively, I keep you concealed until the second group. I don't think the rebels can deal with that on their own, though. So, no bystanders here. You can count on me. Gonna lock down this area. I've got my eyes on. Everyone is so cautious now. Oh no, they found me. How could that happen? Oh. We just refuse to hit there. Oh, it's a faceless. A bit concerned about if, um, triggering something else if I move up. I will survey this area. Uh, excuse me. What in the world is wrong with this officer? Tactical sense, defense, dodge. Holy crap! It did trigger something outside. <clears throat> the faceless specter sectoid. Interesting position from that specter. We need to kill that faceless. That's not what I had in mind when I said that. There you go. 
take a flank shot on the on the dude. I don't think that's gonna be the best shot. 50-50. We just throw a grenade at him. Yeah, we lose corpse and loot, but I don't think there's an easy solution to this. You come back here, break line aside with the sectoid, most of all. I can't flank him without flanking myself to these guys. So yeah, I think we give up the loot. Hopefully, even though that the tree was highlighted, it's not going to destroy our cover here. Okay. Yeah. Get some damage in against that guy. Or not? How could this happen? Ah, you have enough mobility to do that from there. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Not happening. I've seen a lot of good lives wasted. Yes, at least he didn't do horror. Hiding back there, okay. Yeah, that's a problem. All the stuff, so you have combatters, uh, not combatters, uh, blade storm. Um, I still think it's the best option to kill our own guy, well, the 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 ghost, the shadowbound thing. Let us be off. Oh, the tree exploded. Cool, cool. As always, you will not be able to center it on your own. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. I guess the, the Shadowborn Corpse or whatever it's called. Not sure if you can actually damage damage that. That should allow me to do this. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> yeah, right between the eyes. Grab a few of these. Alright, that leaves me with Big Yogurt Boy. Strictly really prefer if you to just fall over. Okay, we need three more damage. Here's a question. I've got a 93% to hit from here. I give up my height bonus, but I get close range bonus from here. Is that going to be better? I'm going. Big 
field. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Fun fact, in vanilla XCOM 2, this would not have been better. Because you hate bonus 20% as opposed to 10%. And close range is at most 20%, but since we're four tiles away, that would have been like 15, I guess. That our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any... An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Oh, I completely forgot. And, um... That was probably a mistake. We should equip our... Our jump jets on somebody. Well, first of all, you should really have a plaintiff. Then I think we're just gonna switch one of your grenades for jump jets. Then we can bring you in, in into missions. And then, like, because currently the XP from the donor will completely went to waste and we could have just caught you in to at least get some XP out of that. But, you know, future, future commander will do that. All right. For the Eastern US precinct. Well, it looks like we're just going to have two faceless missions here in this episode then and not the smash and grab. Depending on how quick that goes. Who's there? Uh, who's here? Who's that? But yeah, uh, future commander remembers for Eastern Europe. to get to get somebody else in here then. It's very very strange though that we got this lucky just after putting in Haven advisors. Then again, I mean, master sergeants have a really good chance of finding faceless. Any day now. Now, you don't have to do these missions, right? Um, if you just ignore them, the faceless is removed from the haven. So especially late game, it can become a little bit tedious. Uh... I'm not sure. Okay, this is not actually the, the, the usual road where they run. Okay, ah, it's the mansion. Yeah! Move up. Roger that. Yeah. They're usually on the other side of this building. Will do. Just a question on which side they're more likely to show up. But I kind of think I'm already going um, to the right of everybody here. All right. We could obviously do that right away. Um, 
I don't think that would be the right approach, though. Moving to designated position. Area cap. Okay. I'm almost very tempted, and I'm thinking I'm going to do this, to use the inside of the building. You so rarely get to do that, and I really like using more of the map. Right, interior of buildings, I don't know, walking up to the high ground here. Uh, how about you don't jump through the window? Side, which makes the whole utilizing that window there a little bit more tricky. Moving here. Good copy, good copy. O seven acknowledged. Uh, let's bring you also up here. Definitely going to have to wait another turn here. Um, that shotgun is really Roger. not in the right spot now. It yeah, depends on what they do. If they keep moving to the side, then I'm very sad. We just fire fire some rockets, set them all on fire. It's like the the easy solution. Um Rockets away. Then the Celatids are immune to the poison, but they can burn. The Harrier is not even gonna move because he doesn't want to re-poison himself, which, you know, is gonna lead to his own uh, downfall here. Look at him go. Cancel that. Go, go, go. Time for Cloud to pick up some XP here. I get that how do I get that loot now um, very carefully uh, guess we're just go gonna wait here just because I can Alright, let's get some eyes on that, that new group. Second group. I just have to kill the second group very quickly in order to not have that loot expire, I guess. 
Um. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I didn't expect them to be this far away. Thankfully, they, they decided to come in my direction. All right. Um, now, we do have a little bit of this. This'll be fun. Ah, hold the press. Biotroopers can be faceless. Nobody expected that. Target locked. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, a bit crazy with all the rockets and grenades here, huh? Um, you don't have needles. If I throw now another grenade, then we kind of miss out corpses and stuff and things. Might have to, though. If we want to kill all of them this turn, because nobody has. Well, you have a shot on the Pathfinder. Let's start off with that. That's so odd. You also have a shot at the Pathfinder. Let's start with that. Again. Bonk. Never saw me coming, did you? Keep an eye out for extended <laughs> night. Cool. I don't want they to never do. miss it. And it's light. Well, the bio faceless it's not gonna reach me right and the bio barrier trooper can't do anything when on fire Unless you don't hit him. Well, great. That's not good. It's not good at all. So I don't think he's I didn't see any fire immunity, but I guess he just didn't draw the 65-75% whatever it is to set himself on fire. So he is like one step away from flanking both of these guys. But he does five to six damage. Um you have 14 mobility, that's like nine tiles. Right, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Should not get in range, so I think we just stay here. Okay, yeah, he doesn't set himself on fire if he moves, if he doesn't move. Oh, 
nerves about? No. Fair enough, I guess. Where's my shotgun dude here? Go here. That's enough of you. You're out of ammo anyway, no so you move on. And that guy. It's about damn time. Let's go point blank. Decision shot. Sayonara. See you later. Mother of mercy. Um excuse me, please. Does not function while stunned, frozen, or bound by Viper World Kunde. This used to say does not function when disoriented. You can no longer disable shield deflect with disorient. I do not agree with this change. At least I think it is a change because I'm fairly certain that after initial feedback, this was this uh, um, you know introduced to have a counter to shield deflect. Alright, we still have a counter which was just hit the bloody bastard. Just means Cloud didn't get a single kill there. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build. There's no way the aliens were expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Apparently we didn't have any Pathfinder Hunters, so yay. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Uh, let's actually... Huh. Go here. Not objective. Resistance management. Get you out of out of the region again. Because I'm fairly certain you still have some psionic training to do. Yeah. Get in there. It's Seventeen hours away from this completion. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Poison acid fire crystal poison. And then of course unconscious and panic. Isn't uh, like a spark already immune to poison and fire? So 
it's very strange. I, I guess a mech trooper is technically not. A spark is, yeah. Um, bio faceless autopsy. I think that's a big one we were missing for a gene mod that I'm look, really looking forward to. So let's throw that in there. All right, you can get Compulsion, Soul Steel, Hellish Rebuke. Let's get that. And I think I want to rather train Triss than one of these two. So the Reaper being psionically gifted is interesting. <clears throat> Hello. The never convoy supply raid. It's five day fifteen. It is coming from thirteen to fifteen. Uh, so it's coming from New Mexico. Yeah, strength free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That couldn't be any better. Um. So set. Probably gonna withdraw all the Haven advisors again. Later during the day here, and so it so it happens. And I feel like this is the perfect squad to just just murder this supply rate. We'll bring the control grenade, or maybe maybe even the flechette gun. Am I missing something with this weapon? I guess it's a free... You know, it takes one action, does not end the turn, gives you something else to do, it has AoE. Like, it's not a shredder gun. But the shredder gun requires an, an suit, but it takes an equipment so I don't know. Am I being too harsh to say this is utter garbage, or is that is that the the true the truth here? Yeah? Um, I guess you take some take some AP. Can we get a proper hollow targeter here? We can for an Andromedon wreck. Well, you're not actually a holo targeting dude. Should get one uh, Mark Free holo targeter for our, our actual recon or holo targeting recon. Can we get a blaster gauntlet? Yeah, okay, so that's good. Um, we've got your rockets, we've got that. We've got sniping. Uh, how about you take something useful for your heavy weapon slots? One cannon, please. I'll take one Shredstone Cannon, hello. I'm gonna assume Shredstone Cannon should be... should be purple, right? The Rocket Shredstone.
Um, I did research Shred Storms, right? I'm fairly certain I did. It's gonna be one of those where I don't find the thing and everybody's like, but it was right there. You scrolled past it three times. It's not purple. Okay, cool. So it already means we're gonna need intel for this, which I'm not a big fan of. It's only 13 to 15, so maybe we can leave somebody out of this. We don't need the rockets, maybe we don't need the sniper. I want to have those two here because level ups, ranks and all that. Or we spend another 30 intel. And then we might as well, you know, get another person in for some XP. Oh, we spend in time, don't get anyone else in. Just focus the XP on these two. I'm really torn on whether or not I should leave somebody else out here. I could probably go without the shinobi. I have Blade here as a recon um, to fight the enemies. Like they kind of have the same role as in concealed scout and when things go wrong, hidden run rapid fire. Hmm. Well, that's still not reaching 100%. You know what? No. Then, in that case, let's go with safety route. Go 6. Spend the intel. Uh, get the rewards. I should really... You know... This is this is unacceptable. Stutter mech, really. At least take a sub corner. You're not getting a plasma weapon yet, but at least not a stutter mech. Um, yeah. You can advance scope. Get an advanced loader, get an advanced suppressor. Happy times. Um, what are you running with? Should have an elite loader for you. We should have an elite scope for you and an elite hair trigger. Anyone else without the right ticket? Elite laser sights, interestingly, we don't have. Or suppressors. Here we go. Sky Ranger deployed in position for deployment. And with that, uh, we have 40 minutes into the episodes, uh, into the episode, and the smashing grip is ready to go. But I think we'll leave that for next time, and then we might combine it with the network tower, depending on how quick it goes and how much other stuff happens on the world map. But for now, we're gonna put a cut in. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.